from the bottom. From the bottom. You know we go. Wake up, wake up, and keep waking up until you're not asleep. Oh, yeah. Back Our first it, time man. videotaping us, giving y'all what y'all want. What y'all want. What y'all need. What y'all need. Stop being aggrieved. Stop being bars. <laughs> bars. <laughs> Penitentiary style. <laughs> man, thank y'all for tuning back in once yeah, again. <laughs> tuning back in with us. Oh, man. You know, we hope y'all do look at this video so y'all can quit asking. Yeah. I don't know why y'all want to see us talk. Hey, you know what? What's that? You think we should play the movie or just let them watch this preview over and over again? <laughs> <laughs> I would let y'all just watch the preview. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Okay, bam. Y'all get a free movie. See? With no I don't sound. even charge admission. With no sound, though. Whatever. Should we do some? No. What? They can lip. They can. No, you're not. Like. Yeah. Uh. Well, yeah, we got people outside the window. They're trying, <laughs> trying to get a sneak peek. It's all right. Y'all can be on too. Yeah, they're trying to get a preview. Had to sick the dog on them or something. But hey, uh, thank y'all for being back with us. So, uh, but you got anything you want to say before we get started? Yeah, like this one time, my dad, uh, like, 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 I have like a lot of friends, and yeah. By the way, uh, my name's Winston, and uh, uh, like this one time, we um, we almost went to Pluto, but then I woke up. But then my dad, uh, he put like this sugary stuff in my Kool Aid, <laughs> and 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 it was a lot of sugar, and 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 yeah, that's the story about uh, the best dad I have ever. Yeah. And by the way, my name's Winston, and my and I live in uh Winster's Court, and yeah, if if Nehemiah hears this, he's gonna laugh. He's my butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to I, do that. I've been saying it all week. Think I'm a metal black person named Winston. <laughs> nah, it, we was I was gonna pick up Nick, and I seen this uh I ain't lying, bro. I don't know where it come from, but I seen this a uh, little housing development little section. How they had the big names. And it was Winston, I Salem. think. Winston Salem. Probably, I think that's the name Winston Salem, North Carolina. I think. No, it was the name of some little up in Renton. Oh. And uh, I was like, I just started talking like that it was the funniest though. Like, and uh, my dad, Nehemiah, you're the best butt I ever had. <laughs> that would have been fun. <laughs> I can't lie, that would have been fun. I can see, I can picture a kid doing it, and he's talking like that, like fast. And uh, that one time. Uh, like we built this tree house and I couldn't sleep in it because um it was yeah. <laughs> I ain't never met a black person named Winston. Winston, you didn't? I went to school with one. For real? Yep. How old was it? You mean, was my, he a teacher? No, man, he was my age. Oh, he graduated me. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never heard of no Winston. I heard of a musician named Winston. Winston. I ain't never heard of no person. That I know personally know Winston. Well, technically he was light skinned so. I'm pretty sure he was mixed, but oh, yeah. I don't know. It still counts. But hey, oh yeah! Before I forget, hey, check out that YouTube channel, Dat Kids D A T Kids. Oh, they finna come day. back with some new stuff for y'all. Oh, you know, day. I just want to go and get that out the way. Oh, day. <laughs> shout out! Shout out to my! Shout out to my four month old for being. I think he's just a genius because he say stuff. Out of the blue. And it amazes me. I ain't lying. To see a baby talk, like, literally say what you say, man, it's crazy. It would kind of crazy. Yo, when he said that, it flipped me. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. Did you really just say, hey, everybody? And it's like, I've been waiting on him to say that, that. He only won't say that, but he said, hey, everybody. Like a full sentence. Man, I'm like, these kids nowadays grow up so fast. Yeah. Before you know, he's going to be talking. He might get it from his mama. Ooh. Shout yeah. out, Megan. Yeah, she do talk <laughs> a lot. She do, she, man, she can talk. Oh, I love man. you too, baby. 
Hey, I do <laughs> gotta say thank y'all for rocking with us. All uh all uh, you know, listeners who've been with us since we started to all our new listeners who tune in every week. Every we still week. can't believe y'all tuned in to listen to us talk. Jimmy, when you can. And, you know, all our guests who've been on, you know, the guests who's going to be on in the future. Man, oh, we yeah. appreciate all y'all. Without y'all, we wouldn't even be here where we at. And that's all true. You know, so I just got to say, take my hat off to y'all. And, you know, I appreciate all y'all. Yeah. One listener at a time. One listener at a time. Y'all, y'all complete us. You're right. It only takes one. Let's <laughs> <laughs> right, go bounce. Let's go bounce let's to go these bounce. topics, man. Man, security guard stealing story. Oh man! So as got? y'all know, I do shop for shoes a lot. Yeah. I start. You know, I go to the store like probably three, probably three times a week to look for probably shoes. Six. And uh, so you know, going seven. in. You know, doing my usual routine, <laughs> going to the, uh, going to check out the shoes. So uh-huh. then, you know, since I be there so much, I'm pretty cool with the security guard. Now, as I'm walking back there, I see him talking to the microphone like, hey, you know, that lady over there, she got some big hair, some big hair, looking right really suspicious. You <laughs> know? Big hair. So I said, uh oh, time to go put in some work. She had to weave. Yeah. I didn't even see. I didn't even turn around. They look like yeah. he was about to run off a scale. Yeah, I don't know. He wasn't too bothered because it was almost his lunchtime. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> he must be black. Nah, he white. What? Yeah, oh, but he cool. He new cool, generation. Though. He cool though. <laughs> but so yeah, so you know, we sitting there joking and stuff, you know. And uh, I said, man, that's crazy. I'm so naive that I forgot that people even steal like that. So then he was like, that's nothing. He said, man, let me tell you what happened yesterday. I said, what happened yesterday? He said, let me tell you what happened yesterday. He said, uh, so this woman and this man come in. He said, the man would walk around, point all this stuff out. The girl throw it in the cart. He said, but next thing he know, they just walking on out the store. Just playing like that. Just just walking like that. Like, like they checked out. This is how bold people live now. They still, they don't even try to hide it. They put the stuff in the cart and walked out the store. And like, he couldn't even do nothing. Because you know, you can't touch him or something. Yeah. You know, he mm-hmm. said that was so hard. So I asked him, I said, so do that mean they can't come back? He said, oh, that's up to HR. So they have to do all that paperwork. I remember, man, I hate that. So now like, you can't stop a person from coming in and stealing. What was the use of having the security guard? That's my dog, though. I hope he keep the job. <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> he ain't securing. Yeah, nothing. Was, no one on one. Like, what oh, you, break time. <laughs> what are you stopping? Really, if hey. you can't do nothing to a person. It'd be in the middle of a robbery. Oh, snap. Hands up. Nah, play a look. You do what you do. I, I'm on break. I need a 30 minute. I'm yeah, on break. So, yeah, he went on break. But as he went on break, I started, I seen it firsthand. Dude came in looking suspicious. Mm-hmm. You know, he was acting all strange and stuff. Mm-hmm. I ain't think twice about it, you know, because I've been minding my own business. So uh, I walked out to my car to grab something to return it. Next thing I know, the dude coming out. Now, while he walking past me, I just hear this look. This thing going, Meow. I'm thinking it's his cell phone. You know, people got uh-huh. some crazy ringtone. What it is. Now, that show you how, you know, I'm kind of slow. I wasn't even thinking about it. So, dude ran to his car. Now, I'm back in the store. And now I know dude come back in the store. Mm-hmm. Doing the beeline. Security guard still on break. <laughs> still on break? Still on break. So, then, you know, I did my thing. Return what I had to return. I get back in my car while I'm sitting in the parking lot. I see dude just come out, jump in the car, take off. You know, you know he in a rush. When you see a speed bump, you don't stop. You hit the gas. <laughs> Boom. You know, it was <laughs> gone. Yeah, he was gone. You know, I'm like, wow. I know. I forgot that people still like that. Man. Yep. Well, that I know little... that probably ain't nothing compared to a story you probably from the breakout. Say, bro, this one lady stole something. This was stupid. She was a grandmother. She had a grandson with her in the store. I'm going to trip y'all out at the end. 
So I'm in a store. We got truck that day, and it's a bunch of us. One manager there, and it's like four of us. And I kid you not, we see the lady on the, the seasonal aisle. She jamming stuff in her. This gives me in her purse. Yeah. The big summertime purse, right? Her grandson comes by. Hey, Grandma, put this in there, too. <laughs> she was like, boy, no, no, no. Put that back. Put that back. All right, come on. Give it up. Give it up. Give it to her, right? So, she left. Boom. I'm thinking, like. You thought it was over with? I thought it was over with. Dude. So, she went grocery shopping. <laughs> no. Okay, she, even if she went grocery shopping. I'm thinking she she gone out of Dodge, right? She gone. Phew. Why is she parked in handicap in front of the store? Chilling. Probably was waiting on a prescription. <laughs> but look, check it out. So we get there, right? I'm like, you know what? Just because of her stupidity. Mm-mm. So I went outside, act like I was getting a bucket, right? I was on my phone. But I was writing down a lights plate. Foo -foo -foo. Went back in the store with the bucket. <laughs> I'm like, here you go. Man, police came out, right? Matter of fact, before she left, the police cornered her in. Brought her back in the store. How many police was? It was just one. Oh. Brought her back in the store. Made her pay for it. So she had the money to pay for it. She made her pay for it. Still brought her to jail. <laughs> Still took her to jail? Man. I'm like. So she had the money to pay for it. Bruh, she had the money to pay. See, this is what I don't understand. And it, people will always do that. Man, I got the money for this, man. Then why am I why am I wasting my breath to tell you you need to put an item away if you got the money for it? Just pay for it, baller. <laughs> Come on, player. What you who are you trying to impress? Hey. It must be five dollar day night. That's why you still a little wine. It's cool, bro. Your people not smart no more. Say, say bro, I ain't gonna lie. I used to if people used to come in there and steal Pampers. Yeah. Let me see. Pampers, baby food, and food itself. I'm cool with that. And condoms, I ain't gonna lie. So to hey, avoid, they just trying hey, to be safe. I was they're just about to, to say safe. that because they got it like it's the baby food. Then they got the condoms and all that. So then the pampers, sure everything is in one. I'm like, it need to be in order. But first, you need to have the condoms there <laughs> just in case, so, you know. But if there's so a mishap after, after the condom, what you have? Plan B, would you have pregnancy? Test? They had the plan B with it, but uh, let me show you how them plan B was. Man, them things were selling like hotcakes in the front of the store by the cigarettes. They so had mean, them right there. So you mean they were selling like fidget spinners? Dude, <laughs> out the store. I used to sell like four or five on Friday nights and about ten on Saturday. God, say, so bro. Take it the condom hey, one gets and you, sold. hey, and you can tell, and you can tell who was more excited because the dude would come up and up. Hey, let me get that right there. <laughs> And the chicken be like, with a boo boo face, like, Damn. I wanted him to have my baby. I don't even know. What is, is this a pill? It's a pill, after pill. It gets kills the sperm. Boom, right there. But you got to take it, like, what, within 24 hours? I think it's like the 24 hours or the after pill. I mean, after, not the after pill, but the day after. Damn. So it's like quick as possible. And say, bro, yeah. They had people came up and they were cool about it. How know? much did it cost though? Fifty dollars. That's what I'm then saying. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you mean to tell a person can buy a pack of condoms? No, they like can't. Ten dollars. They know. Yeah. But they rather spend fifty dollars on the pill. Yeah. See, this is the thing I didn't get. <laughs> Look, no, this is what I don't get. So you would rather spend fifty dollars on a pill from, so you won't get pregnant, but. You won't spend ten dollars on condoms that'll keep you from getting, pre prevent you from being pregnant, and STD Break free. It down. Break it down. So you would rather spend fifty dollars on chances you may be pregnant and have a a, a, a life a life partner named Herpia. <laughs> yeah, Herpia. Herpia. Hey, that's hey. why people going broke now. Nah. That's man. And it's like, come on now, man. But but I would rather them, honestly, I would rather them steal that condoms. But you don't don't come up in there and talk about something. You trying to trying to steal a collectible uh Star Wars action figure. Come on, don't come up in there. Yeah, they'd be, like, they be like thirty five years old trying to steal an action figure. No, thirty five years. Yeah, coming up and still stealing S D cards. Dude, man. 
I take chicks, you don't miss that. Who me? It used to be funny because people used to be trying to be so smooth. I'm like, wait. So you mean to tell me you're gonna be in this section for an hour? Well, and you ain't, ain't that big. Hey, and and you ain't pick up one item. I seen you scope out thirty hundred items, but I ain't. You so let me ask you: Have they ever used a uh, black card? They like, actually, come on, brother. Come on, brother. Hey, hey, just turn the other way this time. No, 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 no. One dude actually, he it wasn't that. No, it was. Somebody was like, "Hey, man, look, 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 look. I got twenty dollars. Let me walk out. Just turn your head. Let me walk out the store." I said, "So, cause you want to get drunk." For this one night You want me to let you Steal this You want to give me $20 right But you want to spend this I mean you want to Take this $65 uh, Ciroc bottle right Now If you, you give me $20 Basically you pay $40 right So you pay $40 for this You having a good time I'm broke I have a family I'm fired What you want me to do But you had a good time That night though He wants you to come turn up with Man I'm like t- Man y'all know I'm good son he was like, the only man. bad part is that dude with the came next time. Hey, that go the dude right there. You get him like twenty dollars. He let you get in the ball. And then the every time you look up, then before you know, it, you hit something. Yep. I'll be like, man. Be like, hey, Jerry, can you come to the office right quick? <laughs> so, Jerry, yeah, let me holler at you right quick. Um, <laughs> well, we seen something and heard your name in a loop. We like, man, get out of there, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I can see that happening. Yeah, but security wise, we had to be security man, and it used to be crazy because they want you to stop the people at the door and say, "Let's go to can the you office." Touch them though. You're not supposed to touch them at all. We supposed. So how to, are you gonna stop? Are you gonna barricade the no, door? No, you stand. You kind of stand off from the door, and kind of. You hope they just listen. It's kind of like within ten to fifteen feet as they're walking. You kind of excuse me, sir. It's like they want you to hold a proper conversation. How are you to hold a proper conversation with a thief? Sound like Brian Gumble. <laughs> Yo. Okay, that's like somebody stealing a million dollars and the security guard is right there. Sir, we need to go to we need to go to the office and talk about this. I have a million dollars in my hand. You think I want to talk about something? <laughs> Bruh, I'm about to whoop you before you need to roll up off me, you heard me? I, well, if you can't touch them, you can just keep walking out the stove. Exactly my point. Because the only thing the person going to do is... So then how far do you have to, do you get to follow them once they go out the store? You're not even supposed to follow them out the store. One chick at the Walgreens I was just working at, bro. One chick got fired because she ran after somebody because they stole her cell phone. But the reason why she got fired is because she went back and told the manager. And the manager, the manager on duty, then that manager went and told the upper manager. Honestly, mean, bro, that's your personal item. You didn't get hurt. You're good. You got your phone back. You f- fine. Everything's good. Oh, they took her phone. They took her because what happened was somebody stole something, so she went outside to go record it, and you know, or whatnot, and somebody came behind them and just took the phone. Dang. Yeah, I don't know if I can't work in retail. Man, I I'd, I'd be too stressed out. Man, I had somebody ninja kick. One of my coworkers ninja kicked somebody out the door. Say son, ninja kicked them. I'm like, yo, yo, no, don't do that. It's getting dangerous working it's getting, retail, right? It get dangerous, man. They be having signals like this. <laughs> I ain't lying. Well, nah, they be having those special numbers. Hey, we got that code three one eight nine over oh, here on man. on owl seven. It used to be uh code eighty. Boy, when people, hey, this is how you know when you always steal. Because every time you come in the store, you hear a cold 80. So people used to walk around the store, cold 80, what, somebody must be stealing, huh? Ha, ha. I be like, wait a minute. They know y'all cold. They know the, hey, and they be the ones who's stealing. They be like, cold 80 on our, cold 80 on our three. And they be like, man, they'll go on the next. I'll be like, man, cold 80, somebody's stealing. Man, I hope y'all catch them. I can't even believe that. Man, people are crazy, son. I I knew it was my straw. I had to give it up when I went in the lady purse. Because somebody was like, yo, she's stealing. So I stood behind her in the line, <laughs> literally looking like. So I'm like, I opened it up and everything. Like, and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I was informed you up in here stealing. So I'm going to need you to either give me this or leave. 
Well, but I bought it from you. I'm like, well, I can go check the cameras right now. Well, I bought it here. I just let it go. I don't care. It ain't my money. But at at the same time, you, you let got a, a point there. At the same time, you let a lot of people go and go and go. That's money being taken away from your store because we lost either fifty thousand or five hundred thousand one year. It was five hundred thousand. I think they shut y'all down. Oh, you think? Well, mm, Man, y'all no, have an arm no, security guard because that store was bringing in money. That store. Was I guess crazy. it is wide open twenty four hours. Man. It's over twenty four hours. Well, at nighttime, you you probably get about four to five hundred dollars, if that. And a lot of that's from cigarettes, diapers, milk, and cereals. <laughs> Well, shoot. Hey, if, hey, listen, listen. If y'all got some stories out there, you know, of some thieving people and you work in retail. I'm pretty sure everybody has Hey, feel that. free to share them with us. You know, from the bottom, 504 at gmail.com. Yeah. We ain't set the uh, voicemail up yet. But, man, let, let's yeah, move on. What's, what's the second topic? Supporting one another. Man, hey, this is a hard thing. I just want to know, how hard is it to hit like when you see you want to support? Now, if they not asking you for no money, don't you don't got to travel nowhere, they just say, hey, just hit that like button for me. Mm-hmm. Hit that share button for me. That's it. You know, is your Facebook that important that you really think or what people really think if you hit that like button on somebody's post like that? Well, like especially like if it's something you see them doing something positive, I mean not with their foolish stuff because a person get a million likes off of over fight. fights, but like a person like graduating school or starting their own business only get like thirty plays. Yeah, probably like 15. probably like a hundred likes, a hundred sometimes a hundred. That's what man, I'm about to say. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes hundred. Uh, yeah. You know, now that's not bad because I don't know how hard it is to support another person. You know, uh, uh, I guess I guess that goes with what a person like, because you got to think about it honestly. Facebook has become very wealthy, based upon honestly. I feel a lot of it has to do with entrepreneurship, with all the ads. Um, and all these videos that they started to post. Like, uh, people were literally posting 100 videos of of just viral stuff. You know, every day, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, you got these fights, and you got, uh, it's a lot of drama. Yeah, that, that, drama, that drama sells. And it sells. And Facebook, literally, Mark, Mark Zimmerberg, he's, probably, he's in the top 10 of richest people in the world. And well, you gotta think who don't have a Facebook. Exactly my point. But at the same time, man, it's like, yo, yo, come on now, we gotta, we gotta learn how to support positivity. Cause I wouldn't mind it if if Facebook was was to blow up from positivity. What could you do? What could you? You know, it's like what could, even though there is things that's on there that's positive, but it's more so the BS. It's praise versus the love that shared. Well, the, the thing I be wondering is, okay, say you got a person who's a singer or like a do poetry or something like that. Mm-hmm. They say, hey, I got a show. So-and-so, you know, down in Seattle or down wherever they at right now. Mm-hmm. Like instead of a person just hitting like like and share it, they be like, man, I can't support them. Uh, they not big enough for me. But then you get like a rapper like who just like blowing up. This dude be all the way over and, and he be in South America. Like, I got a show coming up. Person would sit there and like and share their stuff. Like, oh, Don't even man. know him, but you know this person. Uh-huh. Like, oh man, they about to blow up. Yeah. Be, big. be like, what? But like, then, like, let me ask you this. Now, the same person who don't like your stuff, now say you blow up, yeah, they I'm be like, that. They be like, you know, you be like, man, you never really been sharing my, you never shared yeah, like sure, my stuff when I, I was sure no first starting. But now if I'm big, now you're talking about like, I always been there to support you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you, have you listened to one of our episodes, one of my songs, 
yo, that's support right there. Because that gives me yeah, motivation. Support, and let, that lets, honestly, that lets me know that somebody's out there like, yo, and you're right. Because we've been doing this, man, and we've been getting... Yo, baby, that was a good story. Like my auntie, man, I I thank her, bro. She she texts me literally every day. So auntie, I love you. Shout out Shalanda, holding baby. You know you. She you know always listen to. Her. Oh, baby, that was a funny story. Oh, I remember when you know, and that's <laughs> cool because you think I'm thinking to myself like, yo, what I'm thinking, people are actually receiving it, and like you know what, you're right. You have a point, and you I just think that's cool. I. For I'm a person to feel what you feeling, you hear me? That is, I can't, you know, all the support that they, our listeners give us. Oh, yeah. It still catch me off guard, because it just started with just a thought, you know. I didn't really think it was going to really do what it's doing. But, man, you know, if I could have all y'all on the episode. I sure I would. You know, who you telling? If you want, hey. If hey, you but want listen, to be. we working on it, though. Yeah. We were on thing you probably need is internet access. And hopefully Skype. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. But, hey, we open to being on other people's shows also. What's up, Keith? Yeah. One day. Keith Hayes. Yeah, so. You yeah, know, it, shout out, child, man. It don't take much to support a person. As long as they not asking you for an arm and a leg. Because there is some people. Yeah, take advantage like, of that. Like the panhandlers. There are some people who are out there trying to take advantage. Just because a person you know is kind hearted and be like, man, I see you down there now, you know, I help you out. You know, people like to take advantage of me. If I see somebody like, you know, with a sign, anything helps. Yeah, I'm going to give you some food. You say anything helps, so that'll help you. Hey, man, you just made me think of something. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what Listen, happened? Man, I was downtown one day. And you know how they said, uh, like, dude, be panhandling? Mm-hmm. Man, tell me why one dude asked me for twenty dollars. He asked you for twenty dollars, and that's when I knew that it's a whole nother game. It's a whole nother game. <laughs> Ask me for twenty dollars. You know, this is what I see. If you can, okay, uh, you ain't got twenty dollars. You can give. Th- this is <laughs> now. Check this out. <laughs> if you can stand outside for more than. Six hours in the same spot in the heat with with sweatpants. Say, say, bro, two hours. No, no, no. If no, no, no. If you can do that for six hours, don't you think you can have a job where you are in the air condition, or even if you're in the kitchen or somewhere no. outside? Did you just hear what you said? No, 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 no. Uh, holding the sign for six hours. Why don't you get a job holding the sign? No, no. and that's <laughs> hey, that's true. No, but I'm no, I'm just saying. If a person can do that, just, I'm just saying in general, any job. Well, I guess it's different because depending on what location you at, all that money you get is tax free. And, that's and then sometimes these dudes make two hundred plus a day. They make a, they make sometimes more than the average. Yeah. Average person working. Yeah. And that's on minimum wage. But then the bad part is that some of them not even homeless. No. They'll walk. They'll they'll do that and walk a couple blocks away, chain clothes, and hop in the Mercedes. I seen it. I was on. Don't be a minute. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you really don't know who to give money to. It's like you know what people just. Are but then if you get money like Red Cross and stuff, that money not guaranteed to go where it's going, where it says it's going. Oh, what you think of FEMA, man? Oh, that, oh you had first hand experience with FEMA. Man, I had first, I ain't gonna lie, they gave me money, but it was like, yo, all these people who need it. But the everything So was, but then everybody from New Orleans get the money? Some people didn't get money. So why wouldn't they get money? Because they didn't file paperwork? I don't know if they didn't file paperwork. I think FEMA was saying that they were broke. Cause bro, it was a lot of damage, bro. And I don't know if they ran out of money or whatnot. So did you have I, to file I believe paperwork? that pe- don't quote me on this, but I believe FEMA was taking some of the money because man, that corrupted. Really did. Man, they and the governor at the time, the mayor. I'm sorry, Ray Nigan. He was going on the whoop whoop. Man, they was they was getting broken off, bro. And people there are suffering now. The homeless rate is crazy, bro. If you go there, 
all underneath the bridge, Claiborne Bridge. People are just laying there with their kids. Right now? Right now. That's how bad this is. It's people, still bad. Down say, there. bro, 10 years, what, what year this is? 12 years later, it's still that way. 12 years later, they got people underneath the bridge. But guess what? Essence Festival was a success. Jazz Fest was a success. Mardi Gras was a success. The, All this was a success, but people still living underneath the bridge. And the big arena fixed back up. Ain't the it? big arena. Uh, Superdome. Superdome. The Superdome. That been fixed. You know, think about it. That's the so money. So downtown made. and downtown. Bourbon downtown. Street is everything is okay. But but this is the thing. The Claiborne Bridge is right next to downtown. That's part of downtown. But they not doing nothing, bro. They not. They saying, I'm like, come on now. You can rebuild this. You can have the money for this. You mean to tell me you can't set up like no type of trailers, no nothing? I wonder what happened all the trailers they had for. Man, food. they took that up, man. They do whoop 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 and redid those par- uh courts because they used to be in a lot of parks, but whoop 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 they got that up and sh- a lot of people left, but a lot of people um still didn't have nowhere to go. A lot of people were in places, but then rent start going high. A lot of people want to know in Section oh, 8. Oh, no that sounds suspicious. Sound like Seattle. Rent, man, say, bro, minimum wage is low. And they... Down are, south, yeah. Down south is low. And people are literally spending what we what we will pay for rent up here. No way. Say, bro, it's expensive down there, bro. I they pay not. down there what, we, what they pay in some up places, here? In some places, bro. They must have a humongous place. No, man. The place is not in the little small houses, man. Hey, bro, I'm telling Dang. you, they tax, say, bro, they jipping people down there. And honestly, man, I love my city, bro, but there is, it's nothing. It's nothing for my kids. It's hard, for, it would be hard for me to know that my kids expect to, expect to. From the bottom.